Hey, hey, no, that's not food. If you're tired of the same old uninteresting meals, then have we got a culinary journey for you. Here are 10 unusual foods that only exist in China. Hey, is that healthy food? Snake soup. There's a snake in my boot. Snake soup might sound a little spooky, but this 2,000-year-old dish from China, Taiwan, and other regions of Eastern Asia is not at all terrifying. Snake meat is a light pink color with a texture similar to that of fish, and when combined with stock, herbs, spices, and dark soy, it makes for a deliciously mm. warming soup, the perfect dish for those cold winter months. The snake meat is often simmered in a transparent broth until it's tender. For extra flavor, some versions even include ginger and other Chinese herbs, such as ginseng, donggui, and schizandra. There's also the soup's alleged medical properties. After all, if it was good enough for ancient Chinese emperors, shouldn't it be good enough for everyone? Just saying. If you're on the hunt for a bowl of snake soup, you can try searching for Chinese or Southeast Asian restaurants in your area and inquiring about their menu. Some places may even have it as a specialty dish. Just be prepared for some curious stares from your dining companions. After all, not everyone is brave enough to try snake soup. But for those daring foodies out there, it's definitely worth a try. Y you gotta taste this, just try it. Fried bee pupa. Food is food. In some areas of China, bee pupa is considered a delicacy. Bees in the pupa stage are harvested from the hives. Now, before you start picturing yourself chomping down on a bunch of squishy little bee babies, rest assured that the pupa are cleaned and cooked before being served. Typically, they're deep fried in oil until crispy and golden. How do they taste then? Well, those who have tried them say they have a crunchy texture and a bit of a nutty flavor. They're often compared to fried shrimp or chicken nuggets. The best thing, though, you can eat them as snacks or even as a garnish for your preferred entree. Think about eating pizza or tacos covered in bee pupa. There are tons of options. Now, we get it. The idea of eating bee pupa may not be for everyone, but if you want a unique experience and want to try something new, give fried bee pupa a try. Who knows? You might discover that you love it and surprise yourself. Just try it. You're going to love it. Jellyfish salad. He ruined our salad. Oh, uh. A jellyfish in my salad? That sounds more like a punchline to a joke. But jellyfish salad is a surprisingly tasty treat that will have your taste buds doing the tango. This traditional Chinese meal is typically served as a cold appetizer. It's prepared with strips of cooked jellyfish that have been marinated in a tasty sauce. That's tasty. Too tasty. To give the dish some freshness, the marinated jellyfish is then combined with a variety of vegetables, including carrots and cucumbers. Next up, let's talk about the texture. Jellyfish has a nice crunch to it, kind of like a cross between cucumber and celery. But don't let the crunch fool you. Jellyfish is also incredibly tender and melts in your mouth like butter. It's like a party in your mouth and everyone's invited. So don't be frightened to order the jellyfish salad at your neighborhood Chinese restaurant the next Next time you're there, it's a deliciously unique dish that is sure to impress your gourmet senses. A legendary gourmet dish. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and never miss out. Thanks. Scorpion skewers. Scorpions, there's scorpions outside. Get inside. That's right, we're talking about skewers made of real, live scorpions. But don't be alarmed, not only are these small creatures safe to consume, but they're also a tasty and popular street food in China. The origin of scorpion skewers is said to have originated on the streets of China when sellers would roast scorpions on skewers and sell them as a delectable snack. Nowadays, you can find them at the majority of authentic Chinese restaurants all over the world. And if you're feeling daring, they're absolutely worth Worth trying. Only a few species of scorpions are thought to be suitable for eating. Therefore, it's crucial to ensure the scorpions used for the skewers have been thoroughly cleaned and cooked. But the big question is, what's it taste like? The taste has been characterized as slightly nutty and smoky by those who have sampled the dish with a satisfyingly crunchy texture. Many people have compared it to eating fried shrimp or other types of seafood. But let's face it, nothing can compare to the sensation of biting into a skewer of real scorpions. 
Not only are scorpion skewers a delicious and unique food to try, but they also make for a great conversation starter. Many people are fascinated by the idea of eating scorpions and will be curious to hear about your experience. So if you're feeling adventurous and want to try something truly unique, give scorpion skewers a try. You might be surprised by how much you enjoy them. Oh, maybe I like it. Chicken testicles. It tastes just like a chicken testicle. I don't get it. That's right, you heard that correctly, chicken testicles. However, before you start picturing some bizarre laboratory experiment, you can be assured that chicken testicles are in fact a delicacy in many cultures around the world and have been savored for ages, especially in China. The chicken testicles are first cleaned, then marinated in a mixture of soy sauce, ginger, and garlic. They're then expertly deep fried to provide a crispy outside and juicy interior. For an added touch of heat, chili sauce is frequently provided on the side. Several Chinese restaurants and specialty shops serve this classic Chinese cuisine, so don't be shy, give them a try. You might be surprised at how tasty they can be. It may be a bit out of the ordinary, but they are definitely worth the experience. Worth it! Stinky Tofu you know, it's all tofu, right? Don't let the smell fool you. Once you take a bite, you'll be hooked. The texture of stinky tofu is crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, with a savory and slightly spicy flavor that will leave you wanting more. It's like nothing you've ever tasted before. The traditional method of preparing stinky tofu involves taking a block of fresh tofu and cutting it into small cubes or slices. These pieces are then soaked in a mixture of brine, which is typically made from a combination of water, salt, and various seasonings such as chili flakes, garlic, and Chinese herbs. The tofu is left to ferment for several days or even weeks, depending on the desired level of stinkiness. After the fermentation process is complete, the tofu is removed from the brine and is ready to be cooked. It's typically deep fried and served as a street food, often with a side of spicy sauce or pickled vegetables. It can also be added to soups or stir fries for an extra punch of flavor. If you're in China, you'll find stinky tofu in most major cities, but it's particularly popular in the southern province of Guangdong. In the city of Chengdu, the spicy version of stinky tofu is a must try. It's often served with a side of chili sauce, making it the perfect snack for those who love a little heat. So if you're feeling adventurous and are looking for a new culinary experience, give Stinky Tofu a try. Just make sure to bring some extra breath mints. Things might get a little smelly. Do you smell that? Bamboo rice. Well, there was a time you ate all my bamboo furniture. I know, I know, bamboo rice sounds like something only pandas would eat. But this traditional dish from the provinces of Yunnan and Guilin in China is a true hidden gem among food enthusiasts. It's the culinary equivalent of a diamond in the rough. The traditional way to prepare this delectable dish is by steaming the rice inside bamboo, which infuses it with a unique smoky flavor and a one-of-a-kind texture. It's typically paired with marinated pork and a blend of traditional spices from the region, making for a mouth-watering combination. Now, you might be thinking, seriously, rice? with pork? That doesn't sound all that exciting. But this dish is like a party in your mouth. It may not be as flashy as some of the other dishes on this list, but it's a great starting point for those looking to dive into the rich and diverse world of Chinese cuisine. And it's a dish that will leave you wanting more. Finding bamboo rice may be a bit of a challenge in your area, but don't be afraid to ask your favorite Chinese restaurant if they can prepare it for you, even if it's not on the menu. You'll be the envy of all your food friends. People envy me. Century eggs. For a century. Century eggs are also known as black eggs or millennium eggs, but don't worry, they haven't been around for that long. These eggs are immersed for a few months in a mystical mixture made of tea, lime, salt, and ashes. Mystical! Then, just like magic, they become an aromatically appetizing snack. During this time, the sodium hydroxide in the coating changes the inside of the egg. The egg white turns to a jelly-like consistency, and the yolks become a creamy source of intense flavor. These can be found in many Chinese and Southeast Asian restaurants and grocery stores. They're often served as a side dish, but can also be used alongside other dishes such as noodles, kongi, and salads. Okay, this dish may not be for everyone, but century eggs are the way to go if you're feeling daring and want to dazzle your palate. Although they might not be the best choice for the squeamish, just so you know. 
I believe I'll pass. Bat soup. That sounds weird. Before you go running for the hills, this dish is a staple in Chinese cuisine, and it's not as scary as it sounds. Bats are actually considered a delicacy in some parts of China and Southeast Asia, and they're believed to have medicinal properties. But let's be real, you're probably not going to try bat soup for its health benefits. You're going to try it because it's an adventure. And let's face it, now you want to know what bat tastes like. Well, apparently, bat soup is actually quite tasty. It's a bit like chicken with a slightly gamey taste. It's often served with ginger and scallions to add a little extra flavor. But let's not forget the most important part, the presentation. Bat soup is usually served in a whole bat-shaped bowl, making it a unique and exciting dish to serve and display. It's not your everyday soup, and that's what makes it so special. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but wait, aren't bats a protected species? And the answer is yes, they are. But fear not, bat soup is not as common as it used to be, and it's only served in a few select restaurants. Plus, most bats used for soup are farm-raised, so you can enjoy your bat soup with a clear conscience. So if you're in the mood for something a little out of the ordinary, give bat soup a try and make sure to take a picture of that bat-shaped bowl to show off to your friends. Look at this thing! Balut. You don't want to eat that. No? No. For those who don't know, balut is a fertilized duck egg that's boiled and eaten straight from the shell. It's popular street food in China and other Southeast Asian countries, and it's a love for its rich, savory flavor and creamy texture. But don't be intimidated by the thought of consuming a fertilized egg. You'll be pleasantly surprised when you give it a try. The creamy, custardy yolk contrasts with the soft, aromatic white to create a mouth-watering symphony of flavors and textures. And let's not forget about the tiny duck embryo, which is considered the crown jewel of the balut. Some people might find it difficult to get used to, but once you do, you'll enjoy its characteristic flavor. Some people compare balut to caviar, but in reality, it's more like a Chinese version of mac and cheese. It's comfort food at its finest. It's something you eat when you want to treat yourself or when you're feeling down and need a little pick-me-up. Makes me feel good. And just like any other comfort food, balut is best enjoyed with friends and family. It's a social food that's meant to be shared and savored. So next time you're out with your buddies, why not give balut a try? It just might be a bonding experience you'll never forget. You can find this delicacy in many Chinese restaurants or markets around the world. Our new experiences suck! <laughs> Get a taste of more great videos. Just tap or click and leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.